Hey guys and girls, what's going on? Faria here. And uh, you may be wondering, one, why aren't you your normal, spunky, enjoyable self right now? And two, why you look so fucking beat up? Well, it's because it's four in the morning. But, um, yeah, it's four in the morning, but this is crucial that I get this done, pretty much. And uh, so, so what I'm doing here is I'm making a video response to a good buddy of mine. Um, his name is Anakin. And this is a video response to a specific video that he did. So if you haven't seen the video, please click here. Watch this video first so you're not going to understand what the fuck's happening. Once you're done watching the video, then you'll understand what the hell I'm doing. So in the video, he takes... He takes about 30 fucking minutes uh, to show off his amazing theater room, which he built in a 3D studio. And uh, he he takes you through it and shows you the symmetry. It's basically a big presentation. <clears throat> it's beautiful. However, the reason I'm doing this at 4 in the morning and not tomorrow, like when I wake up, is because it's crucial that you see this immediately. Um, yeah, I, I, what, I, what, I'm, what I'm doing here today is I'm showing you Viridia's theater room, okay? I'm showing you what I'm working with, what I watch and view my home cinema, uh, you know, what, what, what I'm working with here, because I think it's phenomenal. Um, you know, I think, I think it might be even better than Anakin's, I don't know, you, you tell me what you think. Um, so anyway, let's, uh, let's get going with this real quick. I won't keep you too long, because I know your fucking time is valuable. All right, so first of all, this is the door uh, to my theater room right here, and uh, I'm not going to bother taking the, the, the thing off the tripod. I'm just going to kind of use the tripod as a stabilizer, uh, just for your information. This right here is the doorknob uh, to the door to my theater room, and uh, <clears throat> this is a custom doorknob. I bought that at Lowe's for $1.49. They're, they're, they're usually about about 92 cents, but I got this one this one a little bit more expensive, but it's got it's got this nice fluid turn to it So I knew it would go perfect on the theater door um, And then uh, so here we go um, in my theater room. <clears throat> I have installed a kitchen and This kitchen is just custom. This is not this isn't actually my real kitchen. This is my theater room kitchen this is so that if I want to bake a fucking uh, <clears throat> fucking tortilla chips or something while I'm watching a movie, I can come in here and do that. Uh, it's got the sink. It's got everything. I mean, it's got your normal, average, you know, theater room kitchen needs. Uh, it just doesn't come stock with a wife to cook. <clears throat> All right, so anyway, we are going to pan around here, and we are going to look at the seating arrangement for the theater room. And uh, this is what you get right here. These are... And there's two of them. There's one there, one here. These are custom couches. These were actually made. I, I, I had to have these couches because, I don't know, I, I just like this country-ass weave look. It looks like somebody literally just threw shit onto a couch. And I think that that is a perfect look when you're going for, I mean, a cinema thing. Because, honestly, <clears throat> when you sit in a cinema, you're not actually, uh, or a theater, whatever you call it, you're not actually sitting in royal couches. I mean, you're sitting on some. You're sitting on a seat that somebody puked, vomited, spit, possibly even had sex on. So why would you want that for an actual theater room? It doesn't give it that smell. As a matter of fact, come from the factory. I had them smear popcorn and all kinds of like colas into it. So when you touch it, you won't be able to see it on the camera. <clears throat> but when you touch it, it's got this sticky feel to it. It's straight up original. <clears throat> And uh, it's fucking priceless. Uh, this is this is actually my wife prefers a rocking chair. We found this outside. There's this guy named Ernest, and uh, well, some people th th he's a home. He's a hobo, pretty much. He 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 just fucking this was all he had. But uh, you know, to keep with the uh, the sticky velour, <clears throat> we went ahead and went with the uh, with the cow with the the chair from him. Um, my wife wanted leather. I said, no way. You can't see it for shit because of this dumbass light. But uh, believe me, it's, it's fucking disgusting. Now let's get to the meat of the son of a bitch. <clears throat> and that would be the, the screen in which you're going to be viewing your cinema on. And brace yourself because it's fucking crazy. Here we go. 
Yes, exactly. You can see me in there. This is a fucking 67 inch projection screen TV. And some people are like, projection screen? What the fuck? If you don't think projection screen's good, you got something coming. All right, hold on. Let me turn this on. <clears throat> Let's get some PS2 action going. And you'll, uh, you'll really see the, the colors pop. You see that? See how it says Comp 2 in the corner? That is straight up amazing. Um, I kind of spoiled it a little bit for you because I said PS2. Yes, I have a PlayStation 2 as a DVD player down here in the corner. <clears throat> My fucking shadow's in the way. And goddamn Peter Pan in it here, put it in a fucking cupboard. But that is what I use. I swear, this is this is not just any PlayStation 2. It's PlayStation 2 Slim, and it plays Japanese games. No, it doesn't play. No, never mind. It just plays American stuff. But still, it's it's badass. <clears throat> so now that now that we've got Red Faction loading up, let's look at this goddamn color. Look at those colors pop. You don't get color like this. Well, I mean, you do get color like this in a plasma screen, but it's not. It's not of that 80s, 90s quality, and not this big. I mean, here I can plug a damn NES into it and, you know, play that as well as watch my movies. Now, you're probably saying, Viridia, with a setup like this, you've got to have a goddamn DVD collection that just trumps anything. Well, you'd be right. You would be absolutely right. And I'm going to show you my DVD collection. It's actually right here. Oh, this is a candle I bought at uh, Home Depot. Now, this is three candles bright because it has three wicks in it. That's custom. All right, so I wanted to show you this. Um, this first one, this first DVD, actually, I'm going to show you the, this one first. This is my favorite movie ever, Shaun of the Dead. Now, if you don't have this in your collection, your collection's not complete. End of story. And then there's only one other DVD you should ever have in your collection. Anything else is a waste of time, and that's Showgirls. <clears throat> This is like two hours of tits and ass. Like, there's no other reason to have anything else. Um, when it comes to game collection, I have the Metal Gear Sol Solid Essentials collection here, and that's to be played on this PS2 only. It doesn't. It doesn't play on anything else. Um, it's significant to just that. Shut the fuck up. Turn that shit off. <sighs> now you might be able to see this. I don't know if you can or not. Oh shit! Camera fucked up. If you can see that. There's a there's a crack right here. That's where that's where my wife called me a goddamn loser and threw my head into it. Oh shit, it fell again. Yeah, that's it right there. You can see it barely. Sorry for the bad lighting. It's a it's a theater room. It's not supposed to have the brightest lighting. There's no reason you should ever do that. Um, right here, I have my my uh, four head digital tracking VCR. Now this plays NTSC and PAL. So it is a, uh, it, it's a, it's a damn miracle that I even found one of these. These things are are not cheap, <clears throat> and uh, I'm I'm a, I'm damn lucky for this. And over here is my uncle's favorite knife. <clears throat> this is in memory of him. It's got an eagle on it, and this is just to stab any motherfucker who thinks they can come in here and tell me that their theater room is better. <clears throat> I got one last, well actually I don't, I got, I got a couple th more things to show you now, I'm hoping the light doesn't get here, now you, you might be able to see this, let's see, god dang it, fucking light is bad, alright right here, you might be able to see this, this is a little shelf, now don't let the size fool you, this shelf, <laughs> <clears throat> this shelf contains a lot of content, now this is where I keep all of my CDs and music, and it's right here. And you flip it over. Now this, now it, it looks small, but this is actually where all of my music and everything go. This actually, this thing actually even has video on it. And that's uh, that's Lisa Miskovsky or whatever the fuck her name is. This is her rendition of "Still Alive," the theme song from uh, *Mirror's Edge*. That's what's playing in it right now. <clears throat> now what you can't see is that there's about. Oh, let me put, let me uh, push the shelf in. <clears throat> What you can't see is that there is about an inch of space back here. Now that is to keep from wire clutter. You can't see it very well, but it is there. That's to keep from all the wire cluttering and stuff like that. That's custom. And without that inch of room, <clears throat> this, this room only feels like it's about 12, uh, 11, 11 
in a, you know, like, I don't even know, 11 feet long rather than 12. That inch really does matter. <clears throat> Last thing I wanted to show you is this is actually, this is, this is a shelf. I didn't have anything to put on the shelf. <clears throat> so I used this, it's a plastic bag that I found outside. It's from like AT&T and bullshit. Use that to, uh, to cover up this shelf. <clears throat> and this shelf actually houses a pack of cigarettes and ammo. So this is shotgun. This shotgun ammo. Look at all this different kinds of ammo. It's all real. Um, this is this is my shelf for when I feel like a badass and I just want to fuck shit up. <clears throat> it's pretty much what this is. You got your pack of smokes, which is essential, and you've got killing uh, killing projectiles of all the sorts. So it just really depends on what gun you feel like using that day. <clears throat> Put that shit back up. Anyway, guys. Um, I really, really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I don't know. You guys rate it. You tell me which one do you like better. Do you like mine? Hold on. I'm fixing the camera here. <laughs> do you like mine? Or do you like Anakin's room better? Uh, it's it's okay. Whichever one you pick is fine. It's, it's completely okay with me. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Hope you liked the video. And uh, stay tuned. I'm going to bed. Later.